Hi, I'm Josh Slocum, Executive Director of Funeral Consumers Alliance, and today I want to talk to you about one of the most simple arrangements you can make at a funeral home or a cremation business. It's called direct cremation, and it's a standard service that's offered at every funeral home and cremation business around the country. It's also one of the most economical. If you are willing to spend an hour or two making some price inquiries by phone ahead of time, I can almost guarantee you that you'll pay a lot less than you think you might have to as well. So grab a pen and paper and meet me back here and we'll go through direct cremation 101. So what is direct cremation? It's pretty much what it sounds like. It's picking up the body from the place of death, completing the paperwork such as the death certificate or crematory permit, cremating the body, and returning the cremated remains to the family. There's no embalming, no ceremony, and no casket. You are, of course, welcome to add those on, but by federal law, all funeral homes and cremation businesses have to offer you that simple direct cremation. So instead of using a casket, most people use what's called an alternative container, which is just funeral home speak for a covered cardboard box. And this is necessary to hold the body for transporting and getting to the crematory. At the end of the process, the funeral director or cremation business is going to give you the cremated remains back in a utility container, um, usually a heavy snap top plastic box or a covered cardboard board box. So I want to show you what a typical set of cremated remains looks like. This is uh, the remains of Charlie Carlson, um, who is a relative of a former director here at Funeral Consumers Alliance. He donated his body to science and he also wanted his cremated remains to be a teaching tool. So. This is the heavy gauge cardboard box that some crematories will return the remains in. One thing I want to point out, if you see this word temporary container, that's really just a ploy that some box manufacturers put on there to make you think that you have to buy a so-called permanent urn. You don't. You certainly can, but it's not an obligation. You decide whether to keep this container or not. Um, you take the top off and what you'll find inside is a heavy gauge plastic bag and cremated remains are generally, um, you know, you would think they were aquarium gravel or uh, even concrete dust. They're not usually readily identifiable. They're fine. Um, and it's usually about the size of a five pound bag of flour or sugar. Now, I can't show you this because it's uh, gotten lost somewhere in the bag, but a good crematory will put a metal disc in with the body at the beginning of cremation, and that has a number inscribed on it that will track the identity of the body. So you usually find that. It looks a little bit like military dog tags, um, and that'll usually be found in there too. So that's what you can expect. I want to leave you with two tips on direct cremation. One, when you are shopping around, be sure to ask the funeral home if the cremation price actually includes any crematory fees. Crematory fees are assessed when a funeral home uses a third-party crematory, and that's common. Many funeral homes don't own their own. But that crematory has to be paid, and the average price for that actual cremation is $350, which will get passed on back to you. So make sure that you ask, say, you've got a quote for a $995 direct cremation. You kind of do have to ask if the cremation price includes cremation. So be sure to ask that, and also, don't believe that you have to find a cremation-only business or something that calls itself a cremation society in order to get a good price. We have done price surveys across the country with many different kinds of businesses, and we found that both full-service funeral homes and cremation-only businesses both offer a range of prices. So some funeral homes have a very reasonable direct cremation price and some allegedly low cost uh, cremation only societies uh, have much higher prices than they ought to. So definitely keep your options open. And that's about all there is for direct cremation. Next time we're going to talk about the next simplest kind of arrangement, the burial analog, which is known as immediate burial or direct burial. Thanks for watching.